What's up everyone? My name is Rio Moses Spielvers from Grade 11 Alberio STEM. I hope you guys have a wonderful day today and as you have watched in the intro, this video is all about communication breakdown. So before I proceed, I have a question. Have you ever experienced communication breakdown in your life? Well, most of us probably experienced at least once. But today, let us dig deep of what truly is communication breakdown and what can we do in order to avoid it. So, shall we begin? Communication breakdown. So communication breakdown is defined as a failure to exchange information resulting in a lack of communication. And communication breakdown has four barriers. And what are the four barriers of communication? First communication barrier is called physical barrier. Physical barriers are the natural or environmental condition that act as a barrier in communication in sending the message from sender to receiver. Examples of physical barriers are people talking too loud and loud sound from a karaoke. So the second communication barrier is called the psychological barrier. Psychological barriers are also called mental barriers. This refer to social and personal issues of a speaker towards communicating with others. Examples of psychological barriers are of course trauma and fear or stage fright. So, the psychological barriers focuses more on the personal or inward feeling of a speaker. So moving on to the third communication barrier, is cultural barrier. Cultural barrier is pertained to communication problems encountered by people regarding their intrinsic values, beliefs, and traditions in conflict with others. People's culture affect the way they communicate and relate to others. Examples of cultural barriers are of course speaking and next is manner of dressing. So, Moving on to the last communication barrier, which is called the linguistic barrier. So, linguistic barriers pertain conflicts with regard to language and word meanings because words carry denotative and connotative meanings. They can sometimes cause confusion and misunderstanding. Meaning of words and symbols also vary depending on culture. So, examples of linguistic barriers are of course difference in languages, many languages, and of course jargons, which are also called slang. So, upon review, misunderstanding and poor communication can't just affect you or yourself, but also those people whom you are sending the message to. According to research, communication breakdowns cause stress and low morale. Over half, which is 52% of respondents, said that poor communication led to increased stress. So, in order to avoid communication breakdown, you need to do and follow these five simple steps. First, you need to have clarity of thought before speaking out. Second is you need to learn to listen. Third is you need to take care of your body language, especially when you're in a crowd of people. Fourth is, of course, you need to build up your confidence and observe while speaking. Okay, and last but not the least is be aware of communication weaknesses. With this in mind, you will be able to avoid and prevent any communication breakdowns whenever you're talking or whenever you're speaking in front of people. So guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you learned a little about communication breakdown and what to do in order to avoid it. I hope you guys are always safe out there. God bless and that's all for today's video. Bye!